Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to tell you the story about how I found out I had Crohn's disease. So, let's get on into so, it. rewind to about 2009 when I was 9 years old. Um, I was a normal child. I was skinny. Um, I ate a lot of food. Health-wise, I was fine, um, which was good. Then, probably around September or August, September, I started to have pain in my stomach, and I started to not eat as much. Which we were just like, oh, she's probably sick. So then we went to the doctor, and he tried medication, and it really didn't work. Um, then this happened for about six months kept going back, trying new medication, and then I got to about the point where I really didn't eat anything. Um, I was literally skin and bones. When I say skin and bones, I literally mean skin and bones. It was bad. I had a little bit of fat, like, but not like a lot, which you're supposed to kind of have some chunkiness. I had none. So... We, my parents were like, we need to try something else. So, after we said that, the doctor, my doctor was like, okay. So, he referred us to a pediatric gastroenterologist at Hasbro Children's Hospital. And we were finally hoping that we would get answers. So, we made an appointment, and it was probably around my dad's birthday, I believe, in 2010. Um that this happened so I was about to turn 10 because I was in fourth grade when this happened so it was like January 20 something we had our appointment she looked at me heard my symptoms and was like I want you to have a endoscopy and colonoscopy and if you don't know what that is it's where they look at your inside through a scope and that's pretty much um, all I'm gonna say but the day, so I had my procedure around like February 6th or 5th or like 8th or something like that around there. And so I had took medicine, well not medicine, this thing that like flushes you out and like has, it's like you can't eat anything and all that. We're getting really personal guys. Um, but yeah, so I had that and the day of like, I literally never left the bathroom. <laughs> So, my procedure the next morning was at about 7 a.m., so I had to be there by 6.30. We checked in, and they took me up to the second floor, which is this uh, procedure, like the operation, like the surgical level and all that. So, they took me to the um, prep room, and they had me get in a hospital gown. Well, not like a gown. I had to wear, like, you know how kids wear? They wear the, the shirt and the pants. I, it was lovely um so i had a hospital gown on and we were just chilling waiting we were watching movies and all that getting ready waiting and then it was my turn to go in so they took me and i had to pick one of my parents to go in with me um i picked i believe i picked my dad if i'm not mistaken and my mom was not that happy with me that i picked him and she was like mm, okay <laughs> so then I was taken there um they had me pick what type of anesthesia flavor mask I wanted so I had my choices were grape bubble gum and cherry I picked bubble gum because I don't like it the other two <laughs> so they had me count back from 10 and then I had my procedure and two hours later I was done and when I came out I had my an IV in and then all I kind of remember what they said because I was still like out of it um they said well she has Crohn's disease and we're gonna have to admit her into the hospital we weren't expected to be admitted to the hospital we were expecting to go home and obviously that didn't happen we were there for about a week um so yeah then they brought me up to the fifth floor and I was just I was brought to a room, which was really cool because I had an ocean view, so that was the only good thing. <laughs> um, sorry, I have to, this is my college essay and I was talking about it, so I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So, over the week, I had tests and had trouble sleeping because when the, like, the IV machine kept going off because it was like, 
need more fluid and all that stuff. And also, one of the medicines I was on was making me really hot, and I, like, couldn't sleep because it was, like, sweating, but it was really cold in the room, and I was like, <sighs> and see, it made it worse as I was sharing the room, so, you know, I really couldn't, like, fix the temperature or anything, but the second time I was admitted, I got my own room, but that'll be later on in the story. So, um, many of my friends and family came to visit me. My aunts and uncles sent me flowers and were calling, and, like, I had so many balloons around my thing. It was bad. Um, on the fourth day, I was approached by two women from the Oscar program, which is, like, uh, the Ocean State research thing for Crohn's. I believe Kaleidos do. I'm not even saying I think it's just Crohn's. Um, then they asked me to be a part of it, and I was like, sure. Um, that means, what it meant was I would be contacted every six months asking about my progress so yeah and then after almost a week in the hospital i was released and that started my journey with crohn's disease um and also the re main reason i was in the hospital was they had to make sure i was eating now which i was so i was put on many 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 medications and i was on about 20 pills a day almost it was crazy um and every week i had to go back to the hospital make sure my blood was okay and all that yay um one of my doctor's appointments they told me to go to a, a group that helps kids with pain management and we went it was kind of i enjoyed it so besides that i was gaining weight very fast and i gained I went from about 60 pounds to about 110, I believe, in about two months. Because one of the medicines I was on was making me eat a lot. It was a steroid, I believe, um, and all that fun stuff. But besides that, everything was getting back to normal, and I was doing dance and all that fun stuff again. So I thought it was out of the woods because, you know, some people with Crohn's have really different outcomes and I was lucky. But then around Christmas of 2012, I started to feel sick again and wasn't eating that much. I went to the doctor and she admitted me to the hospital. Again, IV and all that. And it was like three days before Christmas. But I was admitted the day, be I was released the day before Christmas Eve or something like that. Um, I had to get an MRI and all that, but we didn't know if I was going to be there for Christmas so like all of our plans were like we didn't know if everyone was going to come down to here or not after I was feeling better again I was released and then I continued to go to the doctor but then after around after almost three or four years of large amounts of medication and many doctor's visits I was able to get off my medication and stop going to the doctor so now it's been about almost nine years since I started my journey with Crohn's and I'm doing really well. I did dance, Girl Scouts, swim. I'm doing really well. Only other thing health-wise that's really happened to me is I have now have a lot of allergies, asthma. I'm lactose intolerant too, which is amazing. <laughs> Um, other than that, everything's really good. Um, sometimes I have pain and it, it sucks, but you know, I've kind of gotten used to it and I'm fine with it. It's not as bad as it used to be and I'm okay with that. So yeah, um, other than that, that is my story about my journey with Crohn's disease. And I wanted to do this video so that you guys know a little bit more about me because that's something that not that many people know about me because you know, Nobody really knows what Crohn's disease is. So, yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And comment down below some video ideas. And also, and I will be doing a lot more videos soon about college. Because I'm got i doing my dorm stuff. Like a dorm room haul. And then I'm doing a move-in day vlog. So, look out for those. I move in in a few... In about two weeks. And then I'm going to New York. So, I'm going to vlog that whole thing. And then I have a Cape Cod vlog. I have so many videos coming out, guys, that I'll probably be posting two or three times a week. So get ready for those videos, and also just make sure you subscribe and join our, my family because, you know, and I can't wait to show you guys everything that I have in store. So thank you for listening to my story, and yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye, guys.